hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl Siri here again and we're back with another video so in today's video I'm going to be talking about what I spent in a month in Lagos Nigeria in the year 2023 so we all know by now that there's inflation and everything has gone off the roof everything has skyrocketed so whatever you were spending let's say in 2022 2021 is not what you spend now living in nigeria i think this video is informative for people that either live within nigeria and are thinking to relocate to lagos or that live outside and i think you're moving back to nigeria specifically lagos so yeah let's get right into it. just to say that this is based on my own realities i think there are some figures that could be tweaked here and there and those ones that could easily be tweaked i would let you guys know and yeah let's get right into it one right at the top of my list is food so i have a small family with four myself my husband my baby and elizabeth so we tend to maybe i wouldn't know if i would say we spend a lot on food i would say that when my husband is not around we spend a lot less on food so typically in a month to do a shopping that can last you a month you can spend about 150 to 200 thousand and it may still not last you the whole month the only reason i'm able to do like let's say 150k on some months is because there are other items that we bulk buy so you buy your bag of rice you buy gary in big quantities you buy your beans you try and buy oil share things that dry ingredients that can last you like if you're buying um what do you call it like spices curry thyme makin and um, dry pepper there are things that you don't need to buy every single month so you just buy in big quantities you buy your semo um pound dough all those dry ingredients you can buy them in bigger quantities so that in other months you spend less on you don't need to spend on those items so you end up buying other things spaghetti the list is not exhaustive um what do you call it derica sachi tomato or thin tomato it's something that i don't cook so much with i use it mainly for jollof rice so it tends to last in my house so those type of things i don't end up buying it every month so it's able to work for me i think another way you can do it is do a weekly expense so you can decide to cook a uh, food worth of 30k every week so you just plan it like okay i have 30k what can i use to cook food for 30k that it will take us for the week and you will see that end of month that's 120k already so you realize that that 150 is not like it's much it's really like trying to be economical with it you still buy all that things you buy ipod you buy sunlight all those things to come out of that money so usually it's about 150 to 200 thousand which honestly it's much looking at the average um salary of someone living in nigeria if you get a good job you can be earning 200k above 300 and that so if both husband and wife let's say about 500k or slightly more but you realize that that's not a lot because we already spend almost 200k on food how much do you save aside for um accommodation and other things and stuff so it's really expensive these same things that i'm buying for about 150k you could have bought them just early last year with 80k not to talk of in 2020 i wasn't spending yes it was just my husband and myself i promise you it's but and i we don't eat much i'm still buying almost the same quantities i was buying back then and i wasn't spending up to 100k in a month for food so inflation has done a big number i think people should um, look at other alternatives so for example if you have a big compound you can actually grow your own produce not everything but if you can grow little things uh ugu, vegetables pepper little things that you also push on the effect and you're also show sure what you're eating you can try and bulk buy because when i bulk buy it's a lot cheaper you can try and also source directly from the village markets or if you're lucky that you know people that travel from the north down to lagos you can buy from them but it's also risks involved in terms of there's insecurity on that route so you're not sure that your items will get to you until it gets to your house and sometimes the difference doesn't end up being that much with the transport you've 
head but yeah just find a way if you also tend to go to your village or your home state often let's say in a year you go quarterly try and bulk buy the things that are really cheap there so for example if your um, area produces palm oil buy 25 liter of palm oil and bring it back like it's something that can stay if you guys produce gary buy bulk of it whatever your area is known for that is really cheap just buy a good quantity of it it will last you for a period of time with 10 minutes so yes i said so much about food but all the other items will be quicker so the next item on my list is transportation yes because i go to work i spend on transportation so this transportation you could consider it fuel for your car if you're driving or if you're not driving cost of transport to take you to and fro work so if you live in lagos whether you live on the island or on the mainland there is a cost of transporting you to work you could be living on the island and working on the island you could be living on the mainland working on the mainland or you could be living on the island and working on the mainland or on the mainland working on the island whichever way you're still going to spend on transport on an average for someone that doesn't live too far from where they stay you can look up to a thousand naira in just one route that's if you're taking bus if you're taking uber <laughs> your case is sorry especially since the fuel scarcity where fuel prices have gone really high you see some filling stations that sell at 180 but most filling stations sell 220 200 so cost of transportation in general is a lot more expensive a route that used to be maybe 500 naira from uh, whichever point a to point b is now wonky or maybe 800 then ubers like you could get a ride maybe two five three thousand but now you will get it four thousand five thousand like on days where i have to take an uber back home from work when i finish really late from work i tend to spend about four seven to five thousand naira and you cannot do that <laughs> if you do the maths you you can't do that every day imagine going and coming how much that is on which salary so if you're driving it will actually be cheaper because you can fill your car for a week if it's a small car if you're driving a jeep you don't need to be having this conversation if you're driving a small car you can fill your car with 10k in a week so for the month 40k but a lot of times you can't finish that 10k if it's a small car you would tend to spend about 30,000 naira. and if you're entering transport as well you tend to spend about 30 to 35,000 naira. that's depending on if you work five days a week and all those factors so yeah transport is around that then electricity so depending on if you live in a fully serviced or self-serviced apartment your cost of electricity may differ i live in a self-service apartment so we load our own light and we buy nepa card usually twice in a month the first time we buy ten thousand naira and just see how long it lasts us if it gets to almost the end of the month then you just buy five thousand but most times we buy ten thousand naira twice which is 20k i know that people that live in fully serviced apartments pay a lot higher than that because they include both the um nepa and fuel for the gen at once but also we have another budget for fuel which for fuel for our gen we spend about 30k in a month that's when light is good if light is not that good you end up spending more so if you add fuel and nepa card that's 50k bear in mind that that is possible because we have solar an inverter with solar if that wasn't the case we most likely spend a lot more on fuel because you keep on turning on your gen turning on your gen so we only turn on the gen at night if there's no light for the ACs to come on next one is gas so for a small household you tend to buy maybe one bottle of gas in a month except there's a party or there's something that requires you using more gas so a bottle of gas now is almost 10k it's 9600 or 98 depending on the training station you're buying it from so that's 10k for gas then i also have a budget for what i eat at work most times i tend to carry food from the house to the office but there are just days where you're not in the mood you're tired there's no time to carry any food and i buy food in my office so we have a canteen where you can buy food or if you feel like you can also order food in whichever option so i just budget 30k and in that 30k i also put in uh, my snacks which is like provisions i buy cereal i buy tea i buy little things that i put in my drawer so you can just buy um you can just eat them as a snack i have biscuits just little little things that you get to carry to 
work that you can eat in between meals so all of that together is about 30k on some months i spend less on some months i don't think i've ever spent more than the 30k for the month because i bring food from the house but if i wasn't bringing food from the house you would spend more than that you would just buy one meal between one two to one eight sometimes two thousand so do the math times 20 something days that's already more than 40k then you've not bought your provision so yeah i tend to bring food from the house so i most likely buy food um outside or in the canteen once or twice a week then we also buy water for the house i buy bottled water i don't know why i haven't been buying dispenser I feel like i want to go back to buying dispensers but i need to buy a new dispenser like the dispenser at home is actually old i think that's why i don't want to buy dispensers anymore i don't trust how clean that thing is so if i get a new dispenser i'll start buying more dispensers because it's way cheaper so currently we spend minimum of five to seven thousand naira on water in a month and we also buy um, baby girl such a water because she still uses such a water to bitch has really fragile skin i don't think i'm ready to migrate her to the normal water yet but pure water is not expensive you spend maximum of three thousand naira in a month because i think with one thousand you get about eight bags or so i think it's up to four k she spends in a month on water but that's it then our own five to seven thousand so in general it's about ten thousand naira for bottle water and such then i also spend on laundry so we wash our clothes at home with the washing machine or if you want to wash it by hand but in terms of my husband's natives i get them um ironed at a dry cleaner even if we wash it except like the ones that are pure white that maybe i don't want to take chances then they wash it there but all the natives will actually wash it at home and i just send it to the dry cleaner for like starch ironing you know how it needs to stand <laughs> so yeah those is need to use go and i have a few outfits that also need ironing so those ones go to laundry pressing and i tend to spend about 10k in a month for ironing last but not the least your odogu the madame at the top uh, right now her expenses have reduced because for example she uses less diapers than she used to as a baby but milk she started taking formula so that i think it even doesn't balance the question takes it higher but she tends to spend about 70 to 100 thousand in a month i try and get it like lower so on some months i'll buy a whole lot of diapers and a whole lot of wipes in other months i'll spend that extra money on other things so i don't buy like clothes for her every single month except she has a need for a particular outfit so i try to like split it so i'll buy her toiletries this month and i won't need to buy it next month i'll buy another thing that she doesn't have just that way just to make it work you can spend a lot less if like depending on type of formula your baby uses um i don't think i'm ready to transition her to pick one to three just right here she just turned one but i'm sure within this year i'll transition her i'll start introducing her to taking milk from her cup instead of from bottle feeding and it will be a lot cheaper because obviously sma is it's not the cheapest milk out there it's not the most expensive <laughs> it could have been after milk it could have been something else but it's not the cheapest milk out there so by the time as she grows it will reduce but then school will come you'll start paying school fees all those things will happen but yeah so this is just an average of what i spend in a month living in Lagos, nigeria you can do your maths and see if it makes sense moving here there are a lot of opportunities if you are a go-getter if you're a hard-working person Come to Lagos, but if you want to be chilled and relaxed and not stress yourself, maybe you should pick another state. Thank you so much, guys, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.